What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Hello Neighbor Act, one house. Oh, my volume's already muted. Now, um, this series may take multiple parts, it probably will. Okay, my mic is working. So, yeah, I'm thinking about splitting the X2 into one or two parts. And then the interior may be two, three, could be four parts because the interior is pretty complicated. It doesn't look that big and it's pretty crowded inside, but it, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. So if you would like to see the interior, I am not going to be showing that because that is going to take like 10 minutes. <clears throat> I made a video um, a couple days ago. It, was, it wasn't yesterday, but it was two days ago of I showed you this build now I'm actually in my let's build world for this one and yeah it's basically is a 36 by 25 actually it's kind of like a tw by 26 because of that now I I'm not gonna be showing you to make the fence but I can show you I'm gonna show you the car so materials <coughs> you'll be needing for the exterior are bricks light blue terracotta pillared quartz Birch fence, oak planks, oak stairs, glass panes, you can't forget about that one, dark oak wood stairs, and we're gonna go with dark oak wood planks. You need more than that, you need red concrete, as well as birch doors. So, oh god, where do we even start? Let's start at the front left hand corner of your build, or your, of your 36 by 25 good cough, grid, cough, cough, if you made it, and count backwards by 3, 4, 5, 6, you're gonna count backwards by 7, and then count right by 5, and now going right, place 8 bricks, bring it forward by 2, right by two and you want to place an oak plank right by three more with bricks back by two with bricks and right by 16 I've got the numbers stuck in my head now you want to bring this side backwards by, I don't even know this number, 12, 14, I was close, now, um, considering I do not know this number, we're gonna go to the left side, and bring it backwards by 10, <clears throat> now bring it right by six and bring it backwards by four. You're gonna want to bring it right until it connects to the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's complete. Now you see the red concrete dotted all over the place? That is for little side things. We may be doing that in this episode. Now I'm going to show you the interior layout. So you see this brick right here? It's the it's on the left side of this um, front portion. You're gonna want to bring it backwards by three and right one. Now you're gonna want to bring it backwards again until you are in line with this brick, and then bring it right by four, just like that. Now take this right brick here of that same um, front portion that sticks out the most from everything and you're going to want to bring it backwards by 3, left 1, backwards by 4, and right by 10. You're going to want to connect this forward and backwards. <coughs> I yeah, apologize for my voice not liking me today. 
Now, come to this row here. So where you extend it backwards, you're gonna wanna count back to the third block that you went backwards, and you're gonna wanna bring it left by seven. And then connect to the wall. There is most of your layout complete. Now, the block that um, the block that came right from this row, you're gonna wanna leave a two block gap going right in place of brick and connect it to the wall. Bring it forward by one and backwards to the wall. Now this is your very small bathroom. There are, see these two red concretes? So there should be three, it should be a six block bathroom. You wanna leave three blocks at the front and two at the back and you're gonna wanna place two bricks moving inwards. There isn't a doorway or anything there. We're gonna do the doorways and stuff in a different episode, but that is all for now. Okay. Once you've done that, let's just continue our little fun layout here. And going forward from this brick, you're gonna wanna place three bricks and an oak plank. You should see what brick it is. It's the same brick that we went, um, it's the same brick. Okay, so two blocks backwards was the brick that we started the layout it with so it's just the one four bring this right with five oak stairs let me double check that number i'm about 92 percent no it's four it's four oak stairs darn it you're gonna want to bring bricks to the right of these stairs by 10 and then connect backwards fill in this open gap here with oak Planks. Now, I kinda did a little bit of a mess up. I made the f um this floor oak, but the interior floor spruce, but they should be kinda the same. So if you wanna change the floor to oak or this to spruce, you can do whichever you like. I would suggest doing the spruce one because I think it looks more like it. Okay. Now, what shall we do next? Let's come over to the front left hand corner and you're gonna wanna place a pillar quartz block. So basically every corner that sticks out that is visible, so like this one, this one, not this one, you're gonna wanna place a pillar quartz block. So like on the back corners, basically just these corners. There's not very many of them, so Keep that in mind. Now you're gonna wanna bring them up by, you're gonna wanna bring each one up by four. And once you've done that, you're gonna wanna connect them all together with sideways pillar quartz blocks. Now these front two are an exception. You don't want to connect them, actually you, you do connect them at the front. Let me double check that, do you? No, you don't. You don't connect them at all, do you? No? Okay, I didn't know. I, you don't connect the front two at all to anything. <clears throat> so this pillar quartz is gonna wanna just kinda stop. It's gonna, it does not wanna connect forward. Now you can bring it like behind, kind of like that. Because none of this will be showing from the um, interior. So I pretty much just connect them all together, except for the front two because they're special little nuggets. <clears throat> and also you don't want to connect, or you can connect these two, or yeah, these two right here, you don't need to connect them. So, but, th but th for the sake of this, I guess I will. Like again, this doesn't matter because you won't see it. Now, you're gonna wanna place a roll of light blue terracotta along the bottom of this and the top of this. If you don't get what I mean, it's pretty much like this. And then we'll have a strip of two in the windows. Now on the back I don't actually no you can't do what I was about to say because there is a I believe there is a window a two block window yeah there is for the bathroom 
And then there's also one that is not two blocks, like a little strange one block window that technically isn't a window. No, what it is, I think it's a broken window or something? I don't remember because I don't have the picture anymore. I deleted it because it was taking up space that I needed. Yeah, this actually does apply, or does it? I'm not sure if it applies. No, it doesn't apply for the front. This front section it does not apply for. So I just leave that for now. In fact, you can actually, actually no, we'll do this later. I'll give you, cause I'll give you some little um, thingies to do. I'm not gonna make all the episodes in like one day because that would be ridiculous, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna spread them out every other day. So they're gonna be taking up tutorials for now. Okay. Anyways, once you have done that, I'm gonna get up my pictures so I know exactly. I have seven emails. Where in the world did seven emails come from? Oh yeah, now I have pictures for Act Two House, so I can start that. Okay. This front left section, you're gonna wanna go left to right and place a light blue terracotta. Three glass panes. Three light blue terracotta, and you're gonna wanna connect it forward. Is that correct? I can't tell because there's something blocking it stupidly. Yeah, that is correct. Why'd I do it like that? So any road that I tell you to do, you're gonna wanna do it on um, the top half and bottom half of this open section. Now this left side, you can just fill in with light blue terracotta. And come to this back section here, and you're gonna want to place light blue terracotta. Um, hang on a second. Okay, glass pane, light blue terracotta. Leave a gap of one and place two light blue terracotta. Now going backwards, place a light blue terracotta, glass pane, and a light blue terracotta. Again, copy that well. There is actually no window there in the actual game. I don't know why, but this window is kind of just open. However, in Act 2, it does get fixed. No, shut up, phone. Oh, gosh, what? Okay. Apparently, my brother has only 1% battery on his phone. That's great. Now, going, um, I guess from left to right, from my perspective, place a light blue terracotta, glass pane, and the rest of the row wants to be the light blue terracotta. Now, this is a different part, so don't completely copy. You're gonna wanna copy the window, yeah, same thing. But then you're going to want to place, okay, that's a number that I can't even count. Okay, hang on, let me count this real quick. This won't be too long. You're gonna wanna place seven rows of light blue terracotta to the, I guess, right of it from my perspective, and then leave a two block app and then the last one's to be light blue terracotta. Just like that. So that went, cause that is um the one window where it shows you into the <coughs> closet area so you can um, grab the lock pick so you can get in there. You have to use the magnet gun. I've played through it a million times, so I do really know this. Go f going um back to front, you're gonna wanna place five light blue terracotta. I believe it's five, I can't tell. It's either four or five, it's probably four. It's four, god dang it. So four light blue terracotta, a glass pane, four light blue terracotta, a glass pane, and, f god dang it. It's three light blue terracotta in the middle. So it's four terracotta pane, three terracotta, a pane, and then four terracotta. And then it wants to be copied on both sides. Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't get that very well. <clears throat> it's hard. And for some reason I have like a fog in my throat or something. I always do. Let's go back to the front now. I went the wrong way. And going right to left place two terracotta, three pins, Six terracotta, a pane. No, wait, that's not six. Five light blue terracotta, a pane, a terracotta, 
a pen, three terracotta, and then connect forward. So yeah, it's five. I don't, some numbers don't stick. Because I don't know any of these numbers. And again, you're going to want to copy this as well. I don't know these numbers because I didn't check. I should have checked, shouldn't I have? Whatever. And you're going to want to just place two light blue terracotta right there. <clears throat> that just is how, it, how I designed it. I don't actually know if it's like that in the game. I think it might be. But anywho, how long has this video been? No, nope, that's the wrong thing. Only 15 minutes, okay. Going left to right at this bottom or right to left does not matter. Place two light blue terracotta. Okay, what can you get rid of? You can get rid of your oak wood stairs. And then it's gonna wanna be a birch door and two terracotta. Then place terracotta for two more rows just around the door. And then going left to right or right to left, place a light, two light blue terracotta, a pane, and two light blue terracotta. Next row just wants to be light blue terracotta. There is your for foist story complete. Apparently that's how I English. It's not good, but mm, it's what I do apparently. Okay. Now, I need my pictures again, even though I kind of just use them. How many is that? Now, okay. So, on this back row here, you're going to want to place six birch fences moving up. You can bring up these two pillar quartzes, and in between, you can place light blue terracotta. You can actually do that, um... Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. But yeah, you're gonna wanna do that. You, I don't know how many more rows you can do it, so hang tight on that. Now at the front, you're gonna wanna also place, moving up from this oak plank, five birch fences. Why did I make it so high? I don't know. Connect them together with birch fences. And up from this um, brick, you're gonna wanna also do five birch fences. Okay, I see why it's off-centered. That makes sense. Oh, wait, no. You're going to want to place six on the front, too. It should be six total. I apologize. Or... What what did I do? I don't know. I did something wrong, but it should be six. So, yeah. Everyone should just be six instead of the other number. Yeah, that. Come to the front right corner. You're going to want to place four birch fences. And then also four here. And then you're gonna wanna connect these birch fences together. Now, I don't know if I can see this with the side pictures. Um, left side, please be good to me. You're not, are you? No, you're mean, okay. I really should've taken pictures of this stuff, eh? Whatever, what can you do? What you can do is you can move this over if you don't like it. This, I don't know. And, okay, connecting or on top of these two birch fence rows, you can place a row of dark oak planks that extend right by one and left by one. So it overhangs each side by one. Place a row of dark oak stairs in front of it. <clears throat> and two upside down dark oak stairs on the left and right. Place a row of dark oak stairs on top, and then a row of dark oak planks behind it, with the upside on dark oak stairs behind the left and right one, and then the row of dark oak above. <coughs> you can bring up the pillar quartzes and light blue terracottas, so they are two higher, but the light blue terracotta is only going to be want to be one higher. And then you're going to want to place a glass pane in the center block. Just like that. You can actually bring up the pillar quartz by another two additional rows and connect together. And place a little light blue terracotta at the top. <coughs> yeah, that is off-centered, but it's okay. It's just how I have it. 
Okay, there's one number that I need. Okay. So you're gonna want to go across and you're gonna wanna place three birch fences moving down there. And then you're gonna want to bring birch fences right until you're in line with these two and then just connect everything together. You're basically gonna just wanna make like a grid thing. I cannot, yeah, you do wanna have it on every single block, so yeah. I don't know, yeah, it does. And it also should connect to this pillar right here. Now, obviously there's less of this in the game, but what can you do? So yeah, there's that. I'm gonna get off my pictures again and see. Okay, it's 20 minutes. <coughs> Time doesn't go by as quickly as I think it does. Get rid of your oak planks and get out spruce planks. Now, above the um, back birch fences, you're going to want to bring them forward with spruce planks. And you're going to want to fill in gaps with just the spruce planks. So, <clears throat> the underside and these little side gaps as well. Just like that. It actually is like that in the game. So, yeah, that's a fact. And now. Come to the back again. We're going to do this while I'm thinking about it. And you're going to want to count backwards from this row by four. Not placing anything. And now pl place going up. Five pillar quartz blocks. Oh, no, it's six. Pardon me. Okay, I counted that wrong. So it's six moving up. And then it's going to want to connect with sideways pillar quartz blocks to everything else. Fill in this gap here with spruce planks. And then destroy these pillar quartz here if you place them there and replace them with spruce planks. We will work with that at the end of the video. Depending on how much I have done, actually. I don't know how much I will have done. Okay. You're going to want to bring up pillar quartzes here until you're at the same height as the pillar quartz. And just place your sideways pillar quartz. So do that on both sides. We don't technically need it on this side yet, but let's just do it. Now going right of this one here, which is diagonally above the pillar quartz, you're going to want to place a row of dark oak stairs that overhangs these side by one. Place a row of dark oak planks behind it. And now get out your pillar quartz and the second row here going right, place a pillar quartz on top of it. Place three more pillar quartz on top of that. And place going right. Nine light blue terracotta going right at the top two blocks. You can want to place a row of pillar quartz to the right of that. This row of pillar quartz should be in the center glass pane, I believe. I, I can't tell because my picture is a little diagonal. Yeah, I don't have anything wrong. Good. So, going left to right along the bottom place. With, oh gosh, voice guy. Two light blue terracotta. A glass pane. Two light blue terracotta. A glass pane. And three light blue terracotta. You're going to want to copy that one on the, along the top as well. And auction, actually, actually, all of these dark oak planks below this, you're going to want to replace with light blue terracotta. You will be seeing that, and the pillar quartzes you do not have to do anything with because I believe they are going to mark walls. Now, next thing on the to-do list. Um... Get rid of your bricks and get out. What was the material? Oh yeah, dark oak slabs. And you're gonna wanna place dark oak slabs. Now the biggest mistake, whenever I see anybody else like make a um, tutorial on this, is that they 
they don't or they don't leave this gap here there is a gap and you're gonna want to actually have this overhang on all sides just do it on the right left and front for now just like that now that these windows should be off centered Oops, that's how it is and now you're gonna want to on the roof place a row of dark oak planks upwards diagonally and you're gonna want to kind of just have it go all the way there should be just like a one row here and then place a row of dark oak stairs on top and also you should be doing your underhang so you're upside on dark oak stairs and then you're gonna wanna do that two, no, more than two more times. Um, I can't, t hang on, let me try and figure this out really quick. You're gonna wanna do that three more times, that setup. So one, two, I need to double check that. One, two, three. Yeah, it is three. I don't want to do this wrong and then have a whole big catastrophe of terribleness. And then it's going to want to just come back across. And it's going to want to just kind of fill into the gap. Now, once it gets above it, because we are kind of, we actually above it, don't just, just have it go into the, um side again now I believe it will come forward I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna have to do but we will see and then obviously you're gonna get above this so you're gonna want to just bring back light blue terracotta to fill in the gaps and then bring back the dark oak slabs as well to as far as they're need gonna need to go back it should be a dark oak plank. Yeah, I, I thought it was a stair, but it's a plank. So, yeah. An actual fact. So, yeah, it does want to actually kind of just mask that, I guess, if you will. Hello, King Gorilla. How are you doing today? Yeah, it is going to want to, um... Come forward, I believe. Yeah. So, upwards diagonally, or is it upwards diagonally? That is the big question. No, it's not. So, just place a row of dark oak stairs to the right of the pillar quartz blocks. Hang your horseshoes upside down. What have I done? Oh, I made a big mistake. Okay, I see. So, I messed up on this roof. What it actually is, is it's going to want to be the same thing, yeah. But instead of having a stair here, it's going to want to be a row of slabs. And then the row of stairs is going to be here. And then above it is going to want to be just a dark oak plank behind it. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, hang on a minute. So then this window is going to want to be lowered by one, and so are the pillar quartz and stuff. Yeah, sorry I made that mistake. I mean, because I'm so used to doing that um, design, because I do it on pretty much every video. Okay, my phone turned off because it does not want to be on anymore. And now my phone is buffering. Goody. Exactly what I needed. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be like a three or four part thing. Okay. And then you're going to want to... You don't actually have any gaps, do you? No, but there's going to want to be dark oak slabs there, I believe. Yeah. So, some dark oak slabs. Upside down, at least, obviously. And then you're going to want to place your dark oak wood stairs to the right and that stuff. 
Do it on both sides, however, we don't have anything to connect to on this side, so just go back to the same length backwards. And this gap you can just fill in with light blue terracotta. This entire gap. And I did run into some issues with this gap, I believe, on the interior and stuff. Okay, it was a second comment. It does not want to appear yet, however. Come on, fun. Do your thing. Do the thing. Okay. This is this happens all the time. It YouTube likes to break on me. And now it does not want to show the comments because I tried to okay, now it says I'm not connected to the internet. But I am okay. Hello, T Chapman. Yeah, for some reason my phone did not like it did not like me again. So all of these dark oak planks and stuff are going to want to come forwards. I'm actually doing it on both sides. Because why not? And then now this is where I have interesting things. How are you? I am good. How are you doing? Um Now the next row is gonna want to be a row of dark oak stairs going around. Now I did this I don't remember why because I thought it was like a little bit too steep. So I just kinda put this thingamajigger on there. Good nice so yeah and then I had to do it on the whole roof to make it symmetrical and stuff now you can actually bring all of the um, roof that we have done you can bring it until it overhangs the left by one row yeah that is one row because we're gonna have the exact same roof on both sides so yeah you can just bring it across and all of that good stuff. And then like that. So it's literally like the same roof that we have on the other side. Just without the um without the little thing sticking out of it. Cause this house is weird. It's a very strange house. I've never seen a house like this in my life, but I mean, who am I kidding? I don't go out that much, just kidding. I'm going out to Spirit Halloween today, so. It's always a fact. Also, happy Labor Day for those of you who celebrate that. Oh yeah, and then it's gonna obviously want to be the Dark Oak Plank Low and stuff. Kind of forgot that it was Labor Day. Yeah, today's kind of a sad day because I start school tomorrow. So yeah. I'm gonna still try to do the daily videos, who knows how long that'll last, but... I mean, I did it for the latter half of the year. <clears throat> now, I do actually like the way this house is designed. And now, you're gonna wanna just place your rows of dark oak planks and the dark oak stairs. And it's gonna want to end on a slab. Yes, it wants to end on a slab. Like that. I need to make sure that's correct because you know me failing. Okay. But on the front I made it a block. Which is interesting. So I'm gonna but I'm gonna leave it as a stair wait, what did I do on the left side? Excuse me. I did a stair. So I did a block on the front and a stair on either side. I'm gonna just do a stair on every side. And then so it's gonna want to come to this height on the sides and everything. And then it's gonna wanna go back down. I might actually be able to finish the um, tutorial in one video. This might be like a 40 minute video, but no, it's 34 right now. Oops, I failed. <laughs> Sounds like a thing that I would do, fail miserably at doing what I try and do. But, um, yeah. So, this roof is pretty self-explanatory. It's more of an archy roof. I actually, um, I made a Hello Neighbor house in a different world, and it was bigger, and the roof was terrible because I did this roof design. So, yeah. 
And then for the hole in the roof, we will do that in a different episode. Because I don't know why that's a thing. Why would you have a hole in your roof? Anyways, and then the roof wants to come down on the other side. The exact same pattern. Now, I almost messed this up on the original one. So, um, yeah. So, to for, um, the next part. I'm so used to saying episode. But, no, I'm doing parts in this because that's more realistic. In the next part, I am going to... What am I going to do? Yeah, I'm gonna finish up the little exterior touches that we, um, missed on, and then I will, um, do the interior, or some of the interior, I'm not gonna finish it, there's no way, <coughs> actually there is way, who am I kidding? I'm just kinda thinking about it, would you rather sit through one long tutorial, or like, a bunch of shorter tutorials. I don't actually know. Because, I mean, I could do this straight for an hour and a half, but... You know, I'm not gonna... I'm not up for that one. Well, could be up for that, but... Like, the one thing we missed is there a couple things on the back. Oh, gosh, I'm messing up. I messed up on this entire row. Lovely. That's why you always pay attention. Except for, like, one block. Nice. I figured this would have to be multiple parts, but I was not sure. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave you with a couple of thingamajiggers to do. Well, that, that was really useful information. And... Stuff, yeah. Now, we're going to leave a couple of gaps because there are certain things we're going to have to do with those s call, with those set gaps. So, like, these side gaps, what you can actually do is you can fill in the f this front gap here. Oops. And the gap on the right side, and please... Three birch fences, I believe, or is it two? I think it's three. No, it's two. It is two. Two birch fences moving down from the stair. <coughs> now, the left side, we're not going to do that yet because we have to um, add in a window. Now, I'm going to do an Act 2 tutorial, Act 3. I kind of put myself up to do it, so... That may be 10 episodes or more, or, like, probably 20 or something. But... What did I want to say? I don't know what I wanted to say. That is a good question. But the Act 2 house, I'm going, you're going to need to have this built, because a lot of it is similar to this. Okay, once you have done that, because this video has been long, it's been 39 minutes. I'm going to leave you with two things to do, which I'm going to do. So, along this level here, you're going to want to place spruce planks along the entire floor, and in the floor as well. So yeah, with that, I'm going to do that off camera, and we're going to do some more in the next video. But thank you guys for watching this video, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video as I save this into the playlists as usual. Let me make a new one really quick. Mine Radar. That's, an, that's the new game, guys.
If you want me to make a playhouse, let me know because I will do that. But have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!